Hello my besties, how are you? Thanks so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm making a wreath for you inspired by this adorable sign from the Dollar Tree. And that's not everything. We're gonna use a bike wheel form. So exciting. If you like this video, make sure you press like, subscribe to my channel for many creative ideas on the budget. So pick your favorite Dollar Tree sign, bike wheel form, and a wreath ring. That's right, we're gonna be using two today. And it's the big one, 18 inches. The first step is optional. As I noticed in the picture, the bike wheels are brown. It just happens that my husband has brown spray paint, so why not just change the color? It's not a big difference, that's why I don't think it's necessary, but it didn't cost me anything, so why not? And now we're gonna use zip ties to tie these two forms together. It's not exact fit and also my reef ring is crooked and bent a little bit, but it's not gonna really matter. You don't have to close your zip tie all the way down until you attach the second one and then you can tighten it at the same time so you center it out more or less. And then you're gonna attach two more at the top and bottom. Cut off the excess. And look at that huge reef ring we got. And like I said, it's not gonna be a perfect fit, but it's not gonna really matter here. And if you're boring, you don't have 18 inch reef ring. I've done one before with a 14 inch. And it's actually a perfect fit that I line perfectly. So you can make it as well. It's just gonna be a smaller version of what we're doing today, okay? Refer to that video if you like to see how to make one with the deco mesh. Or if you're looking for just a quick, easy project, you might wanna refer to this video. We're just gonna make a bow and I'll show you how to use the florals around it. Real simple and easy. But today we're working with this huge baby. Look at that. <laughs> Are you excited? You know what we're gonna be using? Something budget friendly. Yes, craft fabric from the Dollar Tree. Or you can even use some old shirts or sheets, whatever you might have handy. One side of the fabric has a sealed edge, so don't use that side use the side next to it. Just pre-cut a little slit and pull. It's gonna rip straight down, just like that. And the pieces will be about an inch and a half wide by 18 inches long. Continue ripping. And uh, just to confirm, inch and a half is like three little squares, okay? <laughs> If you're using the same pattern, of course, you can use any pattern that you like. Something complementary with your sign is best. And look at my cute little helper. I can't help but love her so much. <laughs> look at her. And I tell her, don't escape. Don't try to leave me. <laughs> As you recall, she escaped two years in a row. So now with the spring coming, it makes me so nervous. I panic every time someone opens the door because I know there's not gonna be a third miracle anymore. So you better behave, young lady. <laughs> so you're gonna rip your fabric in 18 inches long pieces. When you fold it in half, it's gonna be about nine inches. Let's just make sure. Yeah, nine inches by about an inch and a half wide. And this is what we're gonna do. Put your hand through that loop Put the fabric on the form and pass that fabric underneath the reef form and through that loop and pull it to the outside of the reef, just like so. And then you are going to turn around the bottom strip of the fabric right side up, like this. And we are going to make these all around the reef. So easy. As you can see, the whole white form gets covered by the fabric so you're not gonna see anything behind. 
and I couldn't find a pink gingham fabric at a Dollar Tree, but luckily I saved the shirt that my daughter outgrew. So I'm just gonna rip it to pieces. <laughs> then for the third pattern, I'm going to use this butterfly fabric from the Dollar Tree. I think it's gonna pull the, all the colors together perfectly. And again, here's the sealed edge. So you're gonna rip on the side next to it. Just measure an inch and a half, pre-cut it, and rip it down. And yes, you're gonna wind up using the whole piece of fabric, so just continue. By the way, here's Coco for those besties who are always asking. She's usually right there next to me. <laughs> the bird on my shoulder, as you see the feathers sticking down, <laughs> and uh, the dog right there. And yes, these are my kids' pets, but for some reason, they hang out with me all day long. <laughs> all right, got my fabrics ready. So these are the colors. Aren't they perfect Easter colors? Love it. I can see the reef already, can you? So you are going to put your hand through the loop and then pass that strip of fabric and swoop, just like that. Straighten it out. And guess what? This fabric is actually double-sided. So you don't really need to flip the, the bottom strip, but you can. So keep that in mind. Some fabric is double-sided and makes it even easier. And I was gonna add the butterfly next, but you know what? Since I have a lot of teal gingham, I'm just gonna do that color. So we're gonna do teal after every color. How about that? I think it's gonna look nice and balanced. And now let's add the butterfly. Fold your strip of fabric in half, put your hand through that loop. Excuse the strings. <laughs> your hand through the loop and swoop and pull outside, just like that. Flip it right side up, fix that knot if it got tangled a little bit, fix it up. And I think that looks so neat. All right, so as you can see, it takes four strips of fabric for one section. And the bike wheel has 12 sections. So we're gonna have to fill up 11 more. So all together we need 12 pieces of each color and the teal we're gonna need double 24. So all together we wind up using 48 pieces of fabric and that equals to four fabric squares from the Dollar Tree. I'm actually using three and my daughter's shirt. <laughs> so very budget friendly. And if you have fabrics or old clothes laying around, old pillowcases, this could be actually free for you. And as you can see, very easy. Just loop and swoop all around the reef. <laughs> Alright, we got two sections finished, so you can easily see our pattern here. So pick your pattern and repeat it all around the reef. It's filling up fast with these white strips of fabric and what I'd also like is that I can still see the fabric patterns.
All right, last two pieces. Okay, so you know our pattern. We might have to change it here because we don't want two same fabrics next to each other. So as we add pink next, we are not gonna follow it with the teal gingham because that would put two ginghams next to each other. <laughs> We're gonna have to add the butterfly and I think it's gonna look great and nobody could even tell that we broke the pattern. So are you ready to see the big beautiful wreath? <laughs> if you like it, please give me bicycle emojis. I bet you haven't seen anything like it before. <laughs> and let's see how the bunny coordinates beautifully. Let's see how we're going to set it up at the top or at the bottom. We can play around with the placement. It's a two-piece sign. And I think I like it this way better. And I don't want to co cover the center of the bike wheel, so I'm going to keep it to the side like that. And I'm going to utilize all these holes and insert the floral wire and tie the sign down to the reef form. That way, if I decide to change the sign one day, I could do that without using any glue, no damage to the rag reef. And while at it, I'm also going to tie a wire hanger over there at the top. It's going to be hidden there behind the fabric strips. So if you like, you can be done right there, but you know, I'm a little bit extra. <laughs> and. I think this sign could use a cherry on top. We're gonna use some eggs, little carrots, ribbons from the Dollar Tree, whatever you might have on hand, okay? First, let's give those little bunnies a carrot. I know they have a painted one there, but we could use one of these felt stickers from the Dollar Tree. Much better, right? A little bit of a 3D effect. And now let's put some real eggs in that basket. I'm using the egg garland from the Dollar Tree. The eggs are smaller than the standard eggs that they sell. And, you know, you can just play around with these colors. Pick three that you like that match your fabrics. And I'm just going to squish the back so they lay flush with the sign. And just use a little bit of hot glue on the edges. Okay, and I think we can squeeze in a little carrot there, maybe trim it down a bit so it fits better and gives us a more balanced look. Much better already and the babies are happy and now we got to take care of the mama because we know this is a mama riding with her babies in the basket. We are going to make a cute little bow for her. The loops are as wide as the basket. Tie with a floral wire. And 
cut the fish tails at the ends. Cute little bow, attach it to her head with some hot glue. Oh, perfect. She could also use some cute detail around her jacket, don't you think? I also have this pretty leaf trim from Hobby Lobby. I think we could use that around the eggs in the basket. Another option would be to use some green moss or some small leaf foliage. And of course, use your finger protectors when you're working with these little details. Me, when I get excited, I don't feel anything. <laughs> And one of these baby rabbits is a girl. So I'm making a tiny bow tie and I'm going to use it to cover that unsightly hole in her ear. And finally, inspired by the pretty fabric, I like to add some butterflies and bees to my wreath. I know you've seen the butterflies, but have you seen those cute little bees at the Dollar Tree? I'm so happy they brought these this year, as well as the little ladybugs. This wreath doesn't need much more, so I'm just going to add the butterfly over there at the top, cover that hole. And then we're going to add at least one cute little bee. It's going to sit on one of the eggs right there. It bothers me a bit that this carrot is so bright, so I'm going to tone it down, mix orange with white, and just paint over it. Of course, Tweety wants to eat it. While at it, might as well touch up that butterfly. And I think I'm going to stop before I paint that naughty bird. And here you can see the reef on the door. This is a 36 inch wide door. Looks great. And also it's thin. 
So if you have screen door, this is a perfect type of reef for you. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, so you're gonna meet with me here next time. Take care, my besties. Bye-bye. Love you.